Right, so here we go with the build. I've already started with some of the frames because they're going to be a bit boring. There's 50 some of them to do. Um, and two here done at this first stage. I'll show you what that is now. Got all the layout and instructions on this particular plan. And it's all detailed in here. Unfortunately, the writing's in Chinese, but it shows you the layout. You can go pretty much by the, the pictures. So what I did was I got the jig, assembled that, which is with these side pieces, but then I've fixed it onto a piece of melamine and cut the center out because these ribs have to sit down on a flat surface so without notching out the melamine shelf um, I've got the flat surface there just where they are but later on when I come to work on the model itself I can still get to the inside of it when we turn it over um, once all these are in place and everything's built up inside and the whole thing strengthened then these ribs actually get cut off by there so that line there is is actually the uh, at the top of the stanchions when it's turned over and that's the um, that's the base of the stanchions there so it's only that bit all that gets cut off so we've got yay many ribs to do all these and they are that thick so there's a lot to do so you can watch what you like and skip on what you don't like because <laughs> it could get pretty repetitive probably as repetitive as the uh, mayflower rigging anyway so what we do is cut all the tabs and then we need to push all these out i've cut the tabs they're very small they're so small you can hardly see them but this wood is very hard so this will be really video one of building this. I did the unboxing if you've not seen that one, I'm showing you all the pieces. If you go to the channel and see the videos there and subscribe as well. Maybe we'll see all the other videos and follow along with the build. So half of these ribs as you've probably seen on the model are um, left open so one side the model has got the ribs showing the other side is fully planked there we go it's got those out and then what you get is um, a book full of pages of the ribs for the patterns to work to so I've, I've copied these I've got a book full of them but rather than spoiling the book and uh, cutting them all up, I just make a copy and then I'll cut the copy up into these small pieces. And this one is, I'm showing you, it says on there number 17. So they're all numbered. I'll just cut this one out. And then again, I'm using blocks of melamine to be make it completely flat and just put it onto the corner like that there's two sides I'll show you why why there is two sides the first one is um, shows up on where's the best place to show you these side pieces I don't know if you see that There's that line, thin line down there, which is where you actually chamfer it off to. It's not on that side, just on that side. Very small amount at the moment on this. So that's on actually on the inside. And then on these, it's a little tiny bit just there on the outside. So first thing is to do it on this side shows you the you know the shapings on the outside and then we flip it over and put the other piece on which is chamfered on the inside 
So we start off with this one and you can see what I'm doing. Not quite. Now you can. And position this exactly on there where it shows. And they have to be absolutely bang on exact. Like that. And clamp it. Like that. And then these two bits, making sure you've got a slight little chamfer on there that you can see. So that goes that way up. And that one that way up. And we'll glue those. Doesn't matter if it sticks to the paper. You can sand that off afterwards. The important thing is getting them absolutely bang in line. Just feel they're lined up, which they are. And then clamp that. I've been clamping them, overlapping the joint just. So most of the clamp is on that piece. Little tiny bit on this. That's bang on. And then the same with this one. And you need to be really accurate with these. If you want to follow along or you want to buy the uh, blue nose and follow along the build, build one yourself, there's a link. I'll link to it in the unboxing video in the comments. Right. So that's that. That one's all clamped on. We'll leave that to dry. I'll put the other bits with it for the next part. Like that. And then number 15, which will be dry now. I did this a couple of hours ago. Set these off. And then take it off the paper. And then we turn it over, so we flip it over and we put it on the other pattern, like that. Make sure again it is absolutely, absolutely bang on the pattern. And then I just clamp that on one side, just to hold it. And then we need to fit this bit, which is the middle bit here. Um, again, look for the chamfer, which is, see it on that side, it's a black line, none on that side. So that side up, and then what I've been doing, as you can see from there, is this is obviously where the keel goes in this slot. So I've taken a bit of scrap wood off the um, off the wood where the, the keel and everything is, just to give me the size. Uh, it's the right size, same size as the keel, and then just slot that in there, like that. So then I know that that is perfectly lined up because I slot that one onto it. So I'll glue that up. sure it's all covered and slot that down on there but still make sure it's lined up with the plan and then press it down like so and then clamp that Now we can tear that one off. Again, we're looking for the black line, which is there. 
So that is that one. That is that one. So glue these up. Not forgetting the end. Again, make sure it's lined up perfectly. And clamp that. And just keep checking because the do tend to slide a bit on the glue. Let's twist it a little bit. There we go. One thing I didn't mention, and one thing I forgot, but only on this one, to make sure these are numbered so just put the number on somewhere that gets cut off and then we need to mark the cut off which is there on the plan just mark that and we also need to mark the internal deck which is there the floor Just there, that's it. I forgot that bit. Right, so it's another day and I've been doing some sanding of the ribs. Um, still a long way to go on these, but it's got the most of it off. The outside doesn't matter too much. I've got the black off and shaped it a little bit. But once all the ribs are in place, then it'll all be uh, fed in nicely to shape to follow the, uh, the timbers that go around it. Um, what I did do, if you've not seen the short, is I broke one. I made up this little sanding tool and put some more sandpaper around it because that wore down a bit without sticking it. It works okay. It worked good, but it's difficult keeping hold of the smaller ribs and sanding. And what happened was it broke. So keep the templates, obviously. That's the reason why, in case you need them again. And I did. So I glued it back together. And what I thought was we would now have a break from doing the ribs. I'm about a quarter of the way through. Uh, there's still a big wedge of them to go here. It's three more piles, the last two off the first pile, so yeah, just about a quarter of the way through. It's quite a lot to go at. So I thought we'd have a go at the uh, keel. So what I've done is cut a piece of melamine, same as before for this uh, for the jig. It's nice and flat, PVA doesn't stick to it, not very well anyway, and it's a nice flat surface. And then we've got the two portions of the jig here. I've gone round them with a knife and cut the tabs so these just weren't all pushed out, which I'll do in a second. Um, there is quite a lot to it. I didn't realise there was like two or more layers to it. But if you look on the plan, you can see up there. 
If I can get the camera up there, I have to go sideways because there's a tripod there. That's the first lot to do. The top okay. one, the bottom one, is like another layer that goes on the outside. And then there's some more goes on the back end as well. Um, over there. Sorry, it's wrong way up. What do we get with having a tripod? So, we'll push these out and we'll have a go. See if we can get them in the right position. I don't know what that square is there. It's obviously popped out and they've put some tape around it to hold it in. Obviously that's going to come to light later on, but it's nothing to do with the keel. So that's that one and these two big pieces here. There we go. So, is there a picture or a template? I don't think there is. They won't be in there. And I think this is just all ribs. Yep, that's just all ribs. So it's not in there. So, we'll just look at the plan. That is the main one at the bottom then there is that funny shaped one goes there and then we've got like a jigsaw i hope you can see all this yeah that one goes in there I don't think you need a, a jig or a template for this. I mean, they're all just cut so accurately, they just slot in. Like that. And then we've got a stern post. I'll have to take some of these tabs off. They might just distort things a little bit. There's one on there as well. There's three on there, look. Take a bit of the charring off. It will glue with it, but... They all fit nicely together, and the stern post goes in there. And then all these little bits. I'm just looking at that uh, next big piece, which is the uh, the front, the bow. I'm wondering if this melamine is going to be long enough. Yeah, it should be. It's as long as the jig is. So. I actually measured it from the piece I cut out of the middle. So it should be long enough. It goes in there. Things to do. Order some new knife blades. Right, so let's see if they all pinch together. Looks good so far. Have to put something on top, I think, to clamp it down. 
Should have got two pieces. Whoa. It's just long enough. There we go. Use some masking tape actually, stick it down. So there we go, that's what it's going to look like. It's quite a size, it will be, it's the length of the boat. Um, I'll stick all that and then uh, come back. Right, so there we go. That's the keel done, glued and taped. Just got to wait for that to dry now. There we go. See that's the, uh, clearly see that's the shape of the blue nose keel. Yeah. So, I'll wait for that to dry. I'll carry on with some more ribs. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. If you're not subscribed, please do. And then you can carry on with the uh, carry on watching the build. And we have got all that to do, plus another eight sides that size. So subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and help to build it. And I'll see you next time.